after importing the dashboards, which we have provided in the JSON format to the customer, he can import them and then he can choose the owner as SWA monitoring. After using that and selecting the SWA observability dashboard, we will move to our overview dashboards. So these are our overview dashboards in which we have provided gist of information from different dashboards. For example, here you can see jobs and job stream in streams dashboard and the details from here about the job count, high risk job count, potential risk job count, and no risk job count. Information from KPI and workstation dashboard, we have shown jobs by workstation, jobs in plan by status, time trends of jobs by status. From the auditing inform dashboard, the information is coming as total events, total audit type, and total action type. From infrastructure dashboard, the information is coming as hosts. For example, we have six hosts and all are running fine. They are different pods, 42 are running fine. One is pending. They are running pods and different pods in different statuses and their counts. From for the related for information related to the alerts, we have two different types of alerts: custom alerts and the default alerts. Custom alerts are those alerts which we have built uh, using the functionalities provided by the Dynatrace, while the default alerts are those alerts which Dynatrace on in notes in on in in own create for us. We'll go uh, one by one in each dashboard, but before going to that, we can move from overview dashboard to other dashboard using the links present at the bottom of this page jobs and job stream, KPI workstation, auditing dashboard and infrastructure dashboard. For the time constraint I have selected, I have already opened them in the new tab. There is two other additional functionality which these dashboards provide us. First one is this dynamic filter which I'll showcase uh, while using these dashboards and another is a time filter. We can choose the time duration and user can uh, choose time duration for its uh, own function. Uh, Using the first dashboard, I'll move to the jobs and job stream dashboard. In this dashboard, we are providing the information related to job count, about the job streams, about the jobs, and the correlation between the job stream, job name, and their count. In the below of this dashboard, we have also created the time trends of the jobs. This, this time trend showcase all these uh, all these three time trends cumulatively, while here we have shown time trends separately for high risk jobs, potential risk jobs, and no risk jobs. In this horizontal row, we can see all the information related to high risk job. For example, high risk job count, high risk job streams, high risk jobs, and their correlation. Similarly, for potential risk job, and similarly for no risk jobs. So now I would like to show you. That there have been so many uh, details which is being visible right now on this dashboard, but how user can use it. So let me consider this fact that I'm I want to see some information related to any particular job name. So what I choose that for example there is a job name as November zero number one double I'll just select that, and my entire dashboard has been filtered on the basis of my dynamic filter which we have used so here are we have 18 jo uh, jobs in, with this name in high risk 18 in potential risk and 18 in no risk these were the job streams in which these job, jobs are present and this is their correlation we can use this dynamic filter for n number of custom dimension for n number of job name and n number of job stream name now i would like to move quickly to another dashboard which is KPI and workstation dashboard. In this dashboard, we provide information related to DB connection. For example, here we can see green. This means the DB connection is fine. Here we are. We can see the workstation availability. One means the workstation is available. Zero means workstation is not available. We have filtered the jobs by the on the basis of workstation. And this is the time trends of workstations. For example, if there are multiple workstations, we can see multiple time trends as we can see here. Another row presents the detail about the job statuses. For example, we have 10 jobs, uh, job statuses, and this is a pie chart showcasing their number with respect to their area they have covered. This is the in-depth view and the correlation between jobs by workstation and job statuses, and this is a time trend of different job statuses. Next one is the information related to jobs by folder. This is job. This is the correlation between jobs by folder, job status. As, as we have used dynamic filter in the jobs and job stream uh, dashboard, we can similarly use time trends on basing on 
uh, on this dashboard also on the basis of folder, job station, and workstation. I would quickly like to move to another dashboard and want to show you our auditing dashboard. So in this auditing dashboard, user can know information about the audit event count, total audit type, which are database, plan, conman, stageman. These are four different types of audit. Uh, about the action type, and then this is the uh, uh, distinguishing action type based on the two uh, audit type database and plan because they are most used. So we have distinguished and the pie charts presenting the number of usage. We have also characterized based on the number of users. So we have our only one user right now whose name is Y user. We have trained. We have created a time trend of audit type. These audit type are shown here on the basis of time trends. Here we have a correlation between audit type action type and on the basis of user so how many user and which user is creating what audit type and what action types and related to the workstation here we have total action type get modify and install here we have object type and their counts and then finally we have a correlation and again we can use dynamic filter for filtering this entire dashboard for our perspective we'll move quickly to another dashboard which is infrastructure dashboard here in infrastructure dashboard we get the information related to infrastructure details i am again i would like to use again the dynamic filter to choose our application workload automation and now we can see that we have three nodes three clusters which are running fine four pods which are running the name of the pods which are running Time trends of the pod status. For example, here we can see four pods which are running, which were running, which were and are running fine. So here we we are not able to see any details of failed pods, pending pods, and constant reset because in the last six hours, which is the time duration which we have selected, maybe there was no failed pods or pending pods or any container restart. We can also distinguish based on the workload type. So for example, we can see here that we have three workload on the basis of stateful set one is in deployment and this is a time trend of the work uh, time trend of workload type on the basis of cpu request cpu throttling and memory request of these pods we have created these uh, these charts for example uh, we have four pods four pods shown here we can see that which pod is using how much memory and how much percentage of limits they are using, how much total CPU throttling it is being used. So for example, only one pod is using the CPU throttling, rest are zero. And this is the time trend of it. Now, I would like to quickly show you the last aspect of our dashboard, which is alert dashboards. So as I have told you, custom alerts are those alerts which we have built for it. So we, you can see that we have one alert here, while zero alert here. So how user can see and how user can make uh, knowledge out of it. So either he can press this button or he can click here. So I'll click here. And we can see that we have got an error. So here the brown color shows closed problems. Uh, red color shows open problems. Closed problems were 75 and previously it was 75. The another thing which I want to show in the alerts that whenever the alert is being triggered, we get a mail. And this mail we, we used to see like this. So uh, customer got always get a mail and he by clicking on open in browser, he can see what are the details present inside and it will be referred to the same page. For example, for this metric alert was triggered for so and so time. And also once the alert has been uh, when the issue is has been resolved, we also get a resolved mail. So we can see here the resolved mail and it is just uh, two minutes before our meeting has started so that's how it is working this is our dashboard which we have created thank you very much